as you can see in, with this chair here, we've had a, we've had trouble keeping this particular part of the tenon in that hole or the mortise. Right, the first thing we want to do is try to get the wedges back into its hole, get the tenon to go back into the mortise. And you could just try to glue it, and sometimes glues just don't hold. So we're going to use a, a little rubber mallet here, and bang it back together. That's how it should stay, but we want to make sure that we lock this. And so we're going to basically do an invisible repair on the bottom of this. What we're going to do with this, drill a hole. Now the only thing you have to do on this is make sure you don't go too far. What I have is a 1 8 inch dowel. As you look around this room, you can see a lot of different timbers. They're all hand hewn, probably a couple hundred years old or more. Back in the old days before nails and steel brackets, uh, they used mortise and tenons and trunnels to join those pieces of wood together. That's basically what we're doing. We'll drive that wooden nail through there and it'll lock it into place. We don't need a long piece. The drill bit went in about an inch. And so we're going to make ours a little bit longer to make sure we uh, make this dowel bottom out in the hole. And then we got a little wood glue here. We're just going to put just the least little bit on here, but it, that's probably not even necessary. And then we're going to take a, just a little household hammer and run this into the hole. And as you get there, the dowel just breaks. And I think that's pretty smooth as is. So I think we're just going to leave it as, at that. Now we've got a permanent repair. And that little trundle or that little peg is going to hold these two from ever coming apart again. Well, I hope this video helped. It's a five-minute repair and it'll last for uh, quite a long time. Thanks a lot for viewing. And we'll see you next time.